In this video, I'd like to cover how to install and use the Palo Alto VPN. Before we begin, I'd like to cover what the VPN is. The Palo Alto VPN is actually a replacement for the Cisco AnyConnect VPN client, which you may already be familiar with. The Palo Alto VPN provides an easier to use interface that's easy to install and easy to connect to on a daily basis. The Palo Alto VPN, like any VPN, is a security blanket. When you're connected to the VPN, you're connected into the university and you have a secure connection that is providing extra security compared to just your home network alone. Connecting to the Palo Alto VPN is helpful to you for a few reasons. It allows you access to certain virtual machines that are hosted on campus, as well as access to Marriott Library resources, such as JSTOR and other research journals. Connecting in to the Palo Alto VPN will also give you access to departmental share drives that you can easily map after you've connected to the Palo Alto VPN or that will automatically map if you connect into the VPN on a daily basis. In order to install the Palo Alto VPN, first open up your favorite browser and then navigate to vpn.utah.edu. With the provided screen, log in with your campus credentials. Once you press log in, you'll be prompted to approve a duo prompt. Approve the prompt and then you'll be redirected to the download page. At the download page, you'll select the 64-bit version if you're using Windows or the 32 64-bit version if you're using Mac. Go ahead and select the client that works for you and then let it download. Once your download is complete, go ahead and double click on the download and open up the installer. Click next, next, and next again. Accept the prompt to allow this program to make changes to your device. and go ahead and close to exit out of the installer. You'll now see the Palo Alto Global Connect Client or Global Protect Client in the system tray. In order to connect to the Palo Alto VPN, enter in the portal address as vpn.utah.edu. After you press connect, you'll be prompted once again to accept a duo prompt. We'll go ahead and press connect. We'll enter in our credentials first and then we'll be prompted. Now that I've got my credentials entered in, I'll press sign in and I'll automatically be sent a duo push to accept. I've accepted the prompt. We know that the connection is successful because now we'll see a globe that's lit up with a, with a check mark by, by the side. If we go ahead and click on the icon, we'll see that it says that we're connected. If we wanted to disconnect at any time, we could of course press this, but this is a great way to check to make sure you're connected. If you need to reconnect at any time or at the beginning of the day, you'll find the global, the global protect icon in the bottom right tray. Simply press connect, type in your credentials, and accept the duo prompt when it appears.